What's happening here? Well, you know, there's two ways to look at it from the Packers' perspective. A number of people are evaluating it. Oh, my gosh, they've got drama again. They had drama when Favre retired and then unretired. They've got drama with Aaron. The other way to look at it is, wow, how fortunate are the Packers to have had Brett Favre for all those years and to have had Aaron Rodgers for all those years. And you know what? If there's a little bit of angst at the end or what may be the end or what may be a transition, I'll tell you this, there's 31 other teams that would trade that angst to have had Brett Favre and then Aaron Rodgers in succession at that position. As to what Aaron said, I love his point, which is if you are tired of listening to me answer questions I am asked, stop listening. People are asking him this question. He's answering the question. People are bemoaning that he keeps talking about the dark place, the dark room, whatever you want to call it. Well, you know what? He's being asked questions. He's answering them, and if you're grumpy because you don't want to hear him keep answering them, he's right. Stop listening. Tune him out. But, you know, look, I look at things from a different perspective than many on many topics. I don't look at this like it's angst for the Packers. I look at this that there are 31 teams who would love to have the angst of transitioning from Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers and now perhaps transitioning from Aaron. And th- isn't this just the normal flow of things in the, in the National Football League? I think so much is being made just because of who he is. But this is nothing we haven't seen before. I mean, we're talking about a 41-year-old player. We're talking about a young locker room. We're talking about Jordan Love, who is possibly, quite possibly, ready to play. So what's from your perspective, from having run a team for so long, isn't this just the normal evolution of a football team? I think that's a phenomenal point you make, Susie, um, as are so many of your points. This is football, and it tracks back to the comment I shared earlier that Al mentioned to me all the time. The players are the game. So you are right. This happens often. This happens throughout the league. And it's really, really, really hard. You've got players who are, um, this isn't the case with Aaron, but in many cases they have spouses, they have children, they've been in one market for a long time. If they are traded or if they choose to leave or if they're, I guess traded is the toughest part because then you don't necessarily have a say in it. You're not only leaving your team. You've got a family to worry about. You've got kids to worry about. You've got relocation. So, yes, this sort of thing goes on throughout the league all the time. And I think it's important for fans to remember that these men are simply not – they're not just players on game day. They're humans. So where do you think Amy Trask is a a, a possible fit, maybe even a good fit for Aaron Rodgers? Boy, um, you know, the Raiders have obviously been mentioned. The Jets have been mentioned. If I'm Aaron Rodgers, I want to go to a team that I think has the opportunity to win and win soon. Because as you mentioned, he is well into his career. He is of a certain age. I don't want to go to a rebuild. I want to go somewhere where I can go in and win now. So that's an evaluation he's going to have to make. Although I will note this about the Raiders. They are in a state with no state income tax. Mm, and now, I'm not lobbying. I'm not encouraging anything. But it's also, remember, and I got to say this because the girl who went to law school in me has to say this, it's not a one-to-one calculation. There is a duty day formula, so it's not going to be a full savings. There is a little savings in Las Vegas. I just tuned out when you said that. You went into some numbers and math, and, <laughs> and I just it was, it was a language I didn't get. What would Al think of? of Aaron like what do you think he would have uh, would have liked this fit though we talked about this for a quick segment as you as you kind of reposition this conversation um he'd sure like the way he throws that ball he would right he sure like that deep ball catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel 12 to 3 Eastern for free